Here are some tips for using temper cake paints. Temper cakes can come in different sizes. The ones I have look like this and they start out kind of like a hockey puck shape in a roll. And after they get used, they kind of change shape just a little bit. Temper cakes are very similar to watercolor. In order to get them to work, you have to add water to them. It's important to use a brush that has a little bit more stiff bristles. So the yellow and the black handled brushes are good for temper cakes. As I said, you need to add water to the temper cakes to get them to work, just like watercolors. And we could take our brush and just tap it in our water and then create a puddle in the temper cake. Or I have actually purchased some little spray bottles that work really great for creating our small puddle in our temper cake. Just make sure that little tube that you see in the bottle stays under the water or the spray bottle will not work. Create a little puddle and then you're going to stir that paint. You actually have to kind of rub your brush against the hard paint gently, don't push too hard, until your brush turns the color of the paint. It's important to do lots of stirring so we get nice vibrant colors. And then you add it to your paper just like you would regular paint. The more water that you add to a temper cake or to your paper, the lighter it will be. So here, if I just kind of keep adding water to the paint that's already on my paper, it will help it to spread out. So I didn't rinse, I'm just tapping the tip of my brush into the water to spread the paint. And if I want, I could even kind of give my brush a little swoosh, get the extra green off, and I could create it even lighter that way too. Make sure that you're using the little spray bottles correctly and sharing them at your table. If you can't use them correctly, they will have to be taken away. Just like other kinds of paint, it's important that when you wanna switch colors that you rinse very thoroughly and blot your brush on a sponge or paper towel and you can move on to your next color. Remember, add that little puddle first and then you're going to stir your brush until it turns the color of the paint that you're using. Tempera paint is also really great for layering. So you can add whatever color on top of another color and blend them together. If you add a little water, it helps them to blend even more. If a color accidentally gets mucked up, you can use a paper towel to wipe off the color that's not supposed to be on that temper cake. And that's all there really is to it. Have fun.